Hello, welcome to Money Mondays. Today I am introducing one of my real estate partners. Find out who that is in a minute. I'm Francesca Sorbis with Great Rate Mortgage, helping to educate, empower, and enable clients with their home and property ownership goals. Um, so please add any questions or comments you have as we go along, and I will make sure to address them. So as a savvy financial buyer, you have to find a real estate agent that you click with, that you feel comfortable with, and you communicate well with. Um, it's important because not only can it help save you money, but finding the right match will ensure that the whole experience works in your benefit. So in the next few sessions and today, I'm gonna to be showcasing some of my great real estate partners that I work with, and I want you to get to know them as well. So today, I have the pleasure of introducing you to a very special real estate partner of mine, Danny Sorbis. Hello everybody, how's everyone doing? My handsome hubby <laughs> and real estate agent that I work with. Okay, so Danny, thanks for coming to Money Mondays. Oh, of course. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you arrive to be in the real estate world and tell us about your background? My background starts off with, um, I guess let's start with the education aspect of it. I graduated from UIC with a finance and marketing degree. Mm -hmm. And after that, I started as a hedge fund analyst, a financial analyst in several banks and hedge funds downtown. And uh, I, caught the, I caught the real estate bug in that. And that was uh, my first purchase started. And then one turned into two, two turned into three. And it kind of... I felt like real estate was more my aspect because ultimately it gives me the opportunity to talk and market and crunch numbers and that's exactly what I went to school for. So I think it's a perfect meld and perfect uh, combination of everything. Okay, so who, who are you currently with? I'm currently with Coldwell Banker. Uh, our office is located in LaGrange, uh, just off the tracks on Hill Road. So you kind of answered this a little bit, but what really made you want to become a real estate agent? Uh, you know, I think um, for me, I, I, you know, it's the perfect balance of everything that I like. I love the aspect of connecting with people, talking with people, the hustle of it all. Um, but I'm really good at crunching numbers. I've always been. Um, math has always been my, my forte. So that's really what I liked. And so when you take those two things together, I feel being a real estate agent is exactly what you have. You have the sales aspect and then you have the numbers aspect and then you have perfect meld of them both. Thanks. So now, why are you laughing at me? <laughs> saying thank you. He's not used to me saying thank you, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So how has, so you talked about being a property manager. So how has that helped you become, in, as a real estate agent? Oh, when you, um, <laughs> It's being, first off, property management is not an easy gig. It, it, it takes a lot of patience, a lot of work around, and again, and it goes back to the communicating and talking and working with people. Uh, you really learn everybody's individual aspect and you know their daily lives. We all go through life a lot of times with our blindfolds on and you know seeing different people of different walks of life or different things and just trying to make those their daily life happen and relating it to real estate is, you know, trying to find the right house for the right people and trying to have the right budget and everything like that. Again, it just encompasses that whole feel of getting the right thing for the right person. So real estate has its ups and downs, as we know, what keeps you passionate about real estate or, or being a realtor? Well, uh, I just really love the hustle of it all. I really do. I love the go get them, the attitude, uh, the sale of it all, the meeting people, making dreams come true. I mean, it's a really big deal to be involved in somebody's home purchase. I mean, it's they say, oh, you sell houses. Well, I, I like to say, you know, I, I place people into homes um, and they give me that opportunity to help you go to that and get be part of that milestone, a special milestone in your in your life and in your family. And it's, it's a big deal. And, you know, that's, that's what keeps me passionate is helping people develop new future dreams together. So everyone knows a realtor. So what makes you stand out? <laughs> uh, first off, let me get back in the frame. Uh, first off, I have a great combination. Um, look at this one-two punch right here. 
uh, Francesca Sorbus and Danny Sorbus working always for you. And that's always one of my first gigs that I, uh, first points that I make is that, you know, you have a realtor that has a great team working with them. Um, but in addition to that, I have a, a lot of different things. I mean, in this industry now, and especially in our time in our 2019, we have, you know, the access of internet and that's really changed the real estate market. There's no joke, there's no hiding it. Um, people can list properties and um, do it on themselves. But what makes me different is that when you hire me, and this I tell it to all my clients, you're hiring somebody to, to sell your property as far on the sell side now. Um, and you're hiring me to sell you sell your sell your property. You're not hiring me to list it or advertise it on the internet, in which I do that in addition to that, but ultimately I show up to my showings. I, I show I do my open houses, I follow up on leads. I come there and sell the property. I just don't put a, a lockbox on your door and sell it. As far as buyers, I you know negotiate, I look, I get a sense of what you feel and what you like and what you don't research, like. And, lots of research. Well, it's the research aspect, but I mean, uh, a lot of people, they're overwhelmed with the options. I mean, there's so many options, so many possibilities. So that's, that's what distinguishes me. I'm not just no lockbox loser is what I call them. They put a little lockbox on it and say, oh, it's I list, I'm selling a property. That's not how you sell property. So what's the fastest you've sold a home? Ah, two days. Ah, two days with multiple offers. So um, it's uh, and it's not about selling it quickly. It's about advertising it and preparing it and getting it ready and doing the proper research. Um, and it shows in the two-day multiple offer deal that I had. What's the longest you've worked with a client? I don't like to advertise that. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm joking. That the longest I've worked with was eight months, actually. And then the thing is, is that you have to work with your clients. And a good realtor, you know, doesn't push you in any direction, doesn't push you on time, doesn't push you on anything. Um, actually, I lied to you. The longest I've worked with some clients is a couple of years. Um, their their search started, fell off, still started, fell off, and so you know, life happens sometimes, and that's what we want to make sure that uh, you know your realtor should be there to help you get make that happen. You know, and take time with you, the partnership. So do you have any crazy stories? And if yes, what happened? <laughs> I think by far my favorite story is uh, one client asked me if the house was haunted and if it is, what should she do? So, I mean, it just goes to show me being an 80s kid just went, well, you know what you got to do? Who are you going to call? <laughs> Ghostbusters. So needless to say, we didn't work well after that. <laughs> what your favorite memory is as a realtor? The best memory, uh, and it's kind of quintessential to say, it really was my first deal that, that I closed. Um, his name was Richard. I'm going to remove the last name, but his name was Richard. It was uh, him, his wife, his two kids. You know, they, it wasn't a grandiose house. It wasn't nothing, you know, amazing or anything like that. But um, yeah, it was just something that that made me tickle inside and feel fuzzy all warm inside. It was beautiful. It was, they got all happy and were excited about the house and it wasn't nothing big or big payday or nothing like that. It was just about the feelings that were felt. They were so excited to get into their house and move out of the apartment. So what do you attribute your success to? What do I attribute? Um, my background, my hustle, uh, the finance, the marketing, the people I partner with, um, great mortgage officers. <laughs> um, and you know, it's just, I, I work all day. I, I know I stopped working at nine to five so I could work twenty four hours. So it doesn't bother me. I like to I like to work. I like to hustle. So I think people see that in me. What are some of your personal interests or hobbies? Uh, I like to travel. I like to do things. Uh, going out to picnics and festivals, uh, family time, a lot of barbecue and this and that. I like to play cards. Yeah, scopa my Italians out there. <laughs> what advice do you have for those that are buying or selling a home right now? Well, um, buying or selling, them, those are two different avenues, right? So uh, if you're buying, do your research, get a pre-approval first. That's the most important uh, after talking to me, of course. And um, and do your research, you know, know where you're staying, know where your, you know, your income is, where, know where your pre-approval is, what your budget is, where you want to be. Be very specific. And then start branching out from that. Um, as far as sellers, you know, do your research uh, as far as you know what your comps are and stuff like that. Speak to a realtor, 
first off and foremost, speak to a couple of them. Uh, I'm, I always tell all my clients, you know, I may not be the only one you talk to, but I hope to be the best, and that's what uh, I want to be. And uh, you should shop, and you should talk, and you should see everything around, and try to get, you know, and try to get your house ready and declutter. And oof. when selling, you need to talk to the right person who's going to come in there and market your house. Make sure you ask them to market your house and sell your house, not just list it. You come with a team of people, right? Oh, of course. Most she's uh, stand, uh, sitting right next to me, um, my mortgage officer. I mean, there were deals where they would fall apart because some bankers out there would write pre-approvals that weren't uh, that weren't worth the paper it was written on. Um, in addition to that, I come in with handyman to sell your house. I bring in a, a one specific day, allocate all the things. So you know the little knit knit stuff that comes along with the regular ter regular wear and tear of your house. So I bring a handyman in there. I pay for his time, his efforts. I pay for a handy, um, excuse me, cleaning service to come through and clean your house, make sure that I sell your property with a home buyer warranty. So that way everybody gets caught up in that first year and that's the first, that's buyer's biggest uh, scare ultimately is, is what am I getting into? What unknown surprises? So I'm bringing in a handyman to make sure all the things are, are taken care of. Bring in cleaning service to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm selling it with a home buyer warranty to make sure the first year of your of the new buyer's the new buyer's time is being, you know, focused on living and not just worrying about things breaking down. What about um, you know, what about when you encounter for sale by owner? What what do you say to those people who say, no, nah, I want to save my money, no realtor, for sale by owner? Yeah, like I, I was mentioning before, I mean, uh, with the internet age and the technology age that we're in it and in <clears throat> that we're in right now, you can do this all by yourself. But I always tell my clients and the people I approach and do a presentation, you have to do your job, the thing that you are very good at, from your nine to five or whatever time you're doing it. Um, ultimately, you can cut your own hair, you can cut your own grass, you can cut, you know, build your own house, but it's always best to hire a professional because that's what they're good at. And, um, you know, for sale by owner, you're, you're really, you know, taking off from your, your day to, to do what somebody else does. And, you know, that's a hard aspect of stop what you're doing to make money and sell your house to save money, you know, half a dozen in one, six in another, I think. And you need a professional that knows what he's doing. Do you find that most people who go for sale by owner end up losing out because they don't might not get as much or not as good as negotiating it or you know, as experienced at negotiating as a realtor would be? Of course. I mean that's just uh, that's just what the, the trades do. I mean, it's like I was saying in my previous explanations or comparisons is that when you have, when you, you could build your own house, you could do everything your own, but the first time you do it, you know you're going to get nicks and knacks and all over the place. And that's the same thing when you're selling your house. If you get it wrong, you can get it very wrong and end up hurting your pocket very badly. Good thoughts and ideas. So, uh, anything else you want to share? Um, for the best. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So thank you so much for joining us. It was it was fun to interview you. That's all for today. Add any topics you'd like me to explain next time. Please like, share, and follow Money Mondays. I'll be live again next week at 8 p.m. I'll have another surprise guest next week, and we will be uh, off location next week, somewhere else, uh, showing some behind the scenes as well to our next spot. So I'll see you next week. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Again, next Monday at 8 p.m. Have a great night. Have a great night, everyone.